turn to Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. Verse number 13. Acts chapter 2, verse number 13. Others mocking said, These men are full of new wine. Others mocking said, These men are full of new wine. I'd like to preach to you just a little while on an influence lost. The event that we're looking at is the day of Pentecost in the great city of Jerusalem. It included not only the apostles of the Lord and the 120 that was gathered in the upper room, but also a great number of Jews from every nation under heaven. They were devout men. They were very religious and studious of the, of the law of Moses. They were there to keep this feast of Pentecost. The day had come, they were, they were gathered in Jerusalem, and a strange event was about to unfold before them. The crowds were there, the apostles were there, and the event happened. The event that we call Pentecost was a great happening in the city of Jerusalem, for suddenly, the Bible said, without pre-announced uh, a setting, the Holy Ghost comes swiftly upon the 120 in the upper room and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. It would have been quite a common occurrence if in this religious festivity, if that would have been all that had happened. But the problem is that they could not contain the Holy Ghost filled people in the upper room. They spilled out of the upper room down into the streets of Jerusalem and there it didn't take long for it to be noised abroad that there was some strange things happening over on the street where the upper room was located. The upper room, as I remember from our journey to Jerusalem, was uh, behind the west wall over about four or five blocks you could find the uh, winding stairway that led up to the upper room. Just a short piece from the traveled route going to the temple. And there was the people gathering as the crowd gathered. The man who was witnessing it from the edge of the crowd and, and whoever it was and that uh, gave Luke his information as he wrote the book of Acts, remembered one statement that was made from the edge of the crowd. You would think that a religious people would have understood that this was a mighty act of God. But as the people gathered and looked upon these 120 people, as they were being filled and were filled and reacting to the feeling of the Holy Ghost, one looked from the edge of the crowd and said, these men are full of new wine. They just simply said, they're drunk. That's all. They're drunk. No need of wasting your time here. There's nothing to be found worthwhile. They went away saying, these men are full of new wine. But as much as we would like to dismiss the statement, it was a statement from an honest heart. This man had honestly made a judgment and he gave his true judgment of what he felt like he was seeing and hearing. To someone who didn't have the experience, it's a very likely thing. It could have been very well misunderstood as being a drunken party. They were not just sober men. They were intoxicated with something that was out of this world. They had lost control of themselves. They had come from the upper room down into the street very jubilant. They had come down rejoicing. They were marked because they were intoxicated with something that the world didn't have to give. You would have mistaken them if you were there. If you were standing by the crowd, you would have tiptoed and looked over somebody's shoulder and said, Nah, just a drunken party. That's all it is. But you know, to the passerby, that was all that the crowd seen. The Bible says, Others. 
Amen. Making it more than just one opinion. Others filed right by dismissing it as people who were drunk. Amen. But we cannot just dismiss the fact. It registered in a human mind and an honest heart that these men were drunk. Amen. Amen. Do you know that some of the things that made them intoxicated was just the fact that they had found out they was a real person called the Holy Ghost? Yeah. Jesus had said, I'm going to go away to the Father and I'm going to pray the Father and He'll give you another comforter. Right. Did He not say it, church? Right. They had waited <clears throat> some ten days for the fulfillment of the promise of the Father upon them. And this happening that happened at Jerusalem in the upper room was called <clears throat> the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And we call it the Pentecostal blessing. Amen. These men were filled with the promise of the Father. Realization had hit them and they actually were intoxicated. They were filled with the wonder of it the amazement of it, the joy of it. Amen. They were filled with the fact that God remembered them and that they were, they were entirely the children of God. For Romans 8 said, It's for as many as are led by the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. But Romans came several years after the Pentecostal blessing fell upon 120 and began the leading of the Spirit for the children of God. These men received the initial outpouring. This was the un, uh, unheard of. This was the unseen. Never before in any page in the history of the Bible has 120 people come out of a religious experience like these men had just went through. And you know how it affected them? They got joyously happy with it and they came out of the upper room with a rejoicing spirit. Amen. Yes, he was right. These men are full. His estimation was of new wine. But they were full, right? They were full of the Holy Ghost. And you know, there's this man really couldn't pass a true judgment because he didn't have a first-hand knowledge of what was going on. And unless you have a first-hand knowledge of anything, you cannot really judge it truthfully. And that's the reason why today, amen, that we let the man in the street or the man who comes to church for the first time or the woman who comes to church for the first time, we will try to tame it down. We'll try to hold it down because we're afraid of their judgment. The New Testament church came out of the upper room to rejoice in the fact that they had found the baptism of the Holy Ghost was a real person. And that the promise of Jesus was real and literal. And that Jesus had ascended to the right hand of the Father and had prayed. And God had sent this baptism of the Holy Ghost down to them. And they came out rejoicing. Do you know the man on the street still holds a strange power over the church of the living God? We'll let strangers come in and we won't rejoice. Amen. We'll hold back afraid we'll be offensive. Offensive. The worst they could do is say they're all a bunch of drunks. It was passed on the first church. Amen. You cannot let somebody who has not received the experience judge somebody who has the first-hand experience. It's not for the church down the road to tell us that the baptism of the Holy Ghost is no longer available. It's not for them who say uh, talking in tongues is a cult and, a, and of the devil. It's not for them who sit upon the throne of their organizations to pass uh, scorching remarks like they're ignorant and unlearned. All of these things have been said in the Bible. What we need to do is return back to the upper room and get a Pentecostal blessing for ourselves that will bring us from the upper room with some joy in our soul. Amen anyway. This is a specialized experience. 
It wasn't just given to the people on the street. You had to be in the upper room. It wasn't given to the people in the temple. You had to be in the upper room. It was separated from the people milling on the street, buying and selling. It was separated from the people in the temple worshiping. They had not got the message. They didn't know the truth that Jesus truly had raised from the dead and had ascended to the right hand of the Father. They were in the dark. They needed light. And we're going to let people today who doesn't know the full gospel and doesn't know the blessing of the full gospel set in the judgment upon us and tell us you need to tone it down you need to get realistic you need to come out of bondage but I'm telling you my friend the man on the side of the street doesn't have any right to pass a judgment upon somebody who has really received the baptism in the Holy Ghost hallelujah it's a specialized experience. It only comes to the saved and the sanctified. Amen. The real essence in anybody's life that is touched and swayed by the Spirit of God is intoxication. You can't stay sober and be touched by the Holy Ghost. Woo! Amen. <laughs> Glory to God, that's the truth anyway. Amen. You sit there sober like a judge and don't have no joy and nothing in your soul, you ain't touched by the Holy Ghost. You get touched by the Holy Ghost, you'll open your mouth and start praising Him. You get touched by the Holy Ghost, you'll throw a hand up and start praising Him. You get touched by the Holy Ghost, you'll want to stand up and say, I'm available. You get touched by the Holy Ghost, you'll want to sing a song. Amen. It may even make you want to walk, kick, jump, jerk, or do something. But you get touched by it, you're going to react. It's an intoxicating experience. Yes, it is. You come under the sway of the Holy Ghost, man, you won't be the same. Right. Amen. Do you know what Christianity really is? You know what Christianity really is? It's a divine intoxication. Amen. Drink as much as you want to drink and I'll guarantee you, you'll end up beside yourself. Amen. You get it just right and you open the spout and open your heart and let the glory pour some glory down in your soul. You'll act different than what you did. Amen. You can't take an old drunk and give him a fifth of liquor and expect him to stay sober. The more he drinks, the more intoxicated he comes. You can keep him sober if you put a cap on the bottle and lock the bottle up to where he can't get a hold of it. But you let him a hold of it and let him start drinking it, he'll become intoxicated by it and I'm telling you this morning my friend if you'd come to house of God with a worshiping spirit and you'd open up your heart and you'd praise God it wouldn't be long till you'd get intoxicated to the place you couldn't sit down and you couldn't stand still you'd want to clap your hands you'd want to shout glory you'd want to do something because it's an intoxication I know some of you are going to sit by like the rest of them and say, this is Sunday morning, man. Hey, the Holy Ghost ain't no different on Sunday morning. It's Sunday night. You can stand by the crowd. You can go walk on the church. Or you can stop and join in. Amen. When it gets into your heart, it starts fermenting. Don't let it in there. Unless you want to get out of control. Amen. Just keep it away from your lips. Keep it out of your heart. You can be as sober and as solemn as a mule. Hello. But you open your heart. And you open your mouth. You start talking about Jesus. You start praising the Lord. You start being glad you're saved. You start being happy you're a Christian. You start being glad. Say, I'm glad this morning. Amen. I'm not no downtrodden Christian. I'm happy I'm saved. I'm glad I'm on my way to heaven. The world hasn't got anything to offer me. I found something better when I found Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. 
I'm drunk with a vision. I'm drunk with a dream. I'm drunk with a gospel. I'm drunk with a dream of one day being with my Lord and my loved ones. I'm intoxicated with the vision of heaven being mine. Amen. And the gospel. Oh, the word of God is in my heart like a fire that's burning under the pot of intoxication. Amen. You can't stay cold for staying hot. Amen. You can't get lukewarm for burning. The more the gospel you put in your heart, the hotter your heart burns. The more the gospel you read, the hotter your heart becomes. Soon you become a visionary. You see visions, amen, of Jesus Christ. You see visions of heaven. You hear from the other world. Oh, bless God. Hallelujah. I'm glad this morning there's a power from heaven that's been put in my heart that'll make you intoxicated. Anybody say amen out there? You know, you know, we just about lost this, ain't we? We just about flat lost this. Just about flat lost it. You know, you know why? We don't find anything amazing or unbalancing about this experience today. Anybody say amen? amen. We come into church. We're Pentecostal. But you know what we are? We're not old time Pentecost. We're modern day Pentecost. We're the modern day version. Amen. You know why we've got modern? Because the old time way means that you had to get involved. They hear the story told of them coming up out of the hollers of Indiana and walking by uh, old lamplight and amen, coming to church on an old wagon, singing. Amen. They'd pick one another up singing. It sang songs in the back of an old flat wagon. Amen. Glory to God. They didn't wait to church to get them a song. They sung on the way. They prayed during the day. Oh, God, I'm going to church tonight. Help me to be a blessing. Amen. You know what I'm talking about. Shout amen. You know what I'm talking about. I said shout amen. Yes, sir. They began to drink a long time before they got to church. In fact, they was pretty well lit before they got to church. They had lit up, amen, in the parking lot. They lit up coming up the steps. They'd come in the house of God already intoxicated with the worship of the Lord. The Holy Ghost wasn't a dream. The Holy Ghost was a reality. The Holy Ghost wasn't just a blessing. The Holy Ghost was somebody that had been with them all day. Say, it's not the guy on the side of the crowd that's going to make or break us. It's us. I don't want to be a modern day Pentecostal. I want to have the old time power of God in my soul. The intoxicating power of God. Why don't you raise your hands and praise God? You know, it's not sin that's going to kill us. It's being civilized. Just being civilized. Well, you guys act like a bunch of unlearned coos. That's what they say. Don't know nothing. Amen. That's all you want to do is shout. No, all we want to do is just act like we got what we got. Amen. Amen. Tell a drunk man not to sing. Arrest him. Throw him in the clinker. If he feels like singing, he'll sing between the jar. Amen. He'll sing to the jailer. He'll sing amen when nobody's around. If he feels like singing, he's going to sing. Amen. You tell a drunk man not to, amen, love you, you might as well tell him to quit. He ain't going to quit. If he gets his mind on loving, he's going to be loving or jail. Amen. Help me now. If we come into the house of God, 
intoxicated to where we feel the power of God and feel the unction of the Lord. Have him on our mind. Let him with our heart. It wouldn't be long till we'd feel the power of intoxication. Somebody shout amen. Sin ain't tearing us up. It's being civilized. You gotta make a good first impression. Good first impression is we're just the first church of the refrigerator. I'm moving up in standing to be the first church of the freezer. Amen. Civilization. What would you act like right now? Amen. If you was full of the Spirit of God. I've seen Sister Leola in prayer meeting bounce off of these walls. I've seen Sister June, amen, walking up and down the aisle, didn't care, the whole house was full. Amen. I've seen Sister Oki do her little dance. I've looked around, I've seen every one of you one time or another, amen, feel the intoxicating power of the Holy Ghost. I've seen Sister Ruby Carpenter, amen, get uncivilized and just shout, my God, if we can do that every once in a while, if we just start getting intoxicated, we can do that every time they come to church. There's a plenty of time to be civilized, be civilized on the job. Be civilized in the store. But when we come to the house of God to worship the Lord Almighty, hallelujah, take a drink of the new wine and let the intoxicating spirit of the Holy Ghost get down in your soul. How about somebody hollering praise the Lord? This modern Pentecost is more than I can stand. Amen. You know, there's some folks just like you way back in the Old Testament. Amen. As two young men, after the 70 had received the Holy Ghost, that started prophesying in the camp. Amen. Here they come, running up. Amen. They said, Moses, Moses, Moses. That's out of order. In or out of order. There's two young men prophesying in the camp. Moses turned and said, are you, are you embarrassed for me? Amen. Are you jealous for me? Amen. He said, don't forbid them. He said, I would that every one of God's children had the Spirit of God on them and prophesied. Oh, hallelujah. It's the heart of every pastor that every one of his children would be filled with the Spirit of God and prophesy. Hallelujah. Don't be embarrassed. If somebody gets out of order, if it's the Holy Ghost, they're in order. Hallelujah. I said they're in order. Woo. And they stood on the edge of the crowd saying, these men are drunk with new wine. Yeah, they were partly right, wasn't they? It's a strange gladness that we have. Are you glad this morning? Just think, if everyone had as much spirit in them as they do coffee. Woo! Glory! Praise God! Wouldn't it be a wonderful time here if everybody made sure they drunk in some of the spirit before they? Oh, glory to God! My, I'm a feeling, Sister June. I'm a feeling the Holy Ghost, and I'm a telling you, my friend, I am getting to the place where I'm going to say, Lord, I'm going to tear Sunday morning up if you'll help me. I'm getting tired, Amen, of competing with Ponderosa. I'm getting tired of competing with the steak. I want some of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah! Even if I don't get to eat, I want to feel your power. Raise your hands and shout amen. This is a strange gladness because it's only given by the Holy Ghost. Just like wine bubbles, amen, so does the Holy Ghost. You heard them saying it's bubbling, it's bubbling, it's bubbling in my soul. Amen. What's the rest of it? They're singing and shouting. Preach it, Brother Joel. Oh, 
come out. Babylon, Babylon, Babylon. Day and night. Oh, that's it. It's a strange gladness, my friend. When you get this Holy Ghost in you, you'll sing, you'll shout, it'll bubble. Oh, won't it get right? You know it'll get right. It'll feel right. It'll act right. It'll behave itself. Woo! Christian ecstasy is nothing more than just ecstatic joy. Just joy. Joy, joy, joy. Joy of the Lord. Joy over victory. Joy over right. Joy in my soul. Bubbling, bubbling, bubbling joy. Amen. Jesus said it would be like a well of water springing up. Hallelujah. Didn't he say it, church? I said, didn't he say it, church? Lord, help me not to get mean here. Help me stay sweet. Amen. I about got it preached, so help me to stay sweet. You know, it's a strange thing. Amen. In some folks' eyes, that they should do this. But you know what's even stranger? Is that we have Pentecostal people who don't do it. Am I preaching all right, Brother Ed? Huh? Isn't it strange to find somebody full of the Spirit that never raises up a hand, never shakes a leg, never walks the aisle, never runs, never says hallelujah, never says glory to God, just sort of sits there like this home? Move me if you can. Hey, I'm not I'm not about to get in the business of moving you. I'm a preaching the gospel. And the gospel said if you got this joy in you, it will bubble. Hallelujah. If you got this joy in you, you will stand to your feet. If you got this joy in you, you will repeat. Hallelujah. And glory to God and amen and praise the Lord. You'll do it because it's in your heart. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. In my heart's full of joy. I got to find words that describe joy. Let me find a word that describes joy. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Wonderful Jesus. Glory to God. Those are all the language of joy. Amen, Sister Nona. Amen, Sister Nona. Come on out. Hallelujah. Come on, my sis. I love you. It's time for you to come on out. You're holding the Holy Ghost down. You got burdened down. Hey, man, you're perplexed. But the blessed Holy Ghost is still in intoxication. He'll lift your burden, roll your cares away. Woo! Hallelujah! He come to set the captive free. He come to bear our burdens. He come to take away our sadness. He come to give us joy. He come to give us peace. He come to pour love out in our heart. He come to lift us up. He come to set us free. Woo! No wonder he said he makes my feet like hinds feet. Hallelujah! No wonder he said he calls us to climb and soar like an eagle. Woo! Hallelujah! Oh, bless me His name! Hallelujah! Woo! You know what? We're just not happy, are we? We're just not happy. Most of the time, we're not happy at all. Hey, Amen. But you know what made these folks happy? Was the kind of thoughts they were thinking. 
Did you read that in the book? They were thinking and they were saying. Can I read it to you? The Cretes and the Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The wonderful works of God. You know what'll start you off? How many's happy that you're saved? I mean, you're really happy you're saved. Now, don't pull your arm down. Wave it at God and say, God, I'm happy that I'm saved. I'm so glad you saved me from my sins. I'm so glad you washed me from my sins. I'm so glad that old life is over. I'm so glad I'm a new creature. I'm so glad you said it's a wonderful work of God. They heard him testify about being saved, about being sanctified, about being filled with the Holy Ghost. They heard them testify about divine favor. They magnified God. They recited psalms to the magnification of God. They talked about his wonderful works. Brother Robbie, he brought me a mighty He brought me a mighty long way. When he found Benny Sutherland, he found me stuck in a pit of my own digging. Amen. Sinking in the shame of my own sins. I couldn't save myself. I didn't know how to get out of the pit. But Jesus came along and heard my forlorn cry, Sister Little Jean. I said, Lord, if you pass me by, I'm the same as dead. I won't live to be very old, Lord, if you pass me by. And I heard him saying, oh, pass me not, old gentle Savior. Oh, glory to God. And when I called on his name, he bent low. He got down next to the pit. And he reached his hand down in the pit. And he lifted me up out of the horrible pit. He didn't leave me covered with sin and shame. But he washed me in his own blood. Hallelujah. And then to make sure I could make it, he got me away from the pit and put my feet on a solid rock. Not only that, but he laid around and waited around till I got my legs back. Till I learned how to walk. And I learned how to talk. Hallelujah. Till I learned how to love him. He stayed right by me. He helped me up on my right hand. And he helped me up on my left hand. He taught me his ways. He showed me his ways. No wonder I can sing. No wonder I can shout. No wonder I can dance. Hallelujah. The great grace of God has appeared unto all men. Woo! Of a truth, these men are drunk on new wine. I remember, Brother Scott, when you told me you couldn't stay in that corner when you felt this. You told me, Pastor, I'm only going to stay back there and I feel it and then I'm coming out. You ain't going to get in my way, boy. Come on. Is this new wine? Huh? Is this new wine? Don't it make your heart feel strange? Sort of mess up your thinking? Huh? Just makes you want to stay around for a while? Yeah, I've asked my family. You think I might be going crazy? <laughs> they said they always they always answer me with a question. What makes you think so? <laughs> but I tell you, I might be going crazy. I don't know, but I'm enjoying the trip. Woo! Come on, church, shout amen. What's <laughs> good, brother Kenny? Oh yeah, man! Give me the bottle. It's my turn to drink. Amen. You've been around to make your brother red. Pull that sack up around the nozzle, amen. They'd take a slug and you said, my turn, hand me the bottle, amen. You'd take a slug and you'd pass it over to somebody else. Amen, I've drunk it out of a fruit jar on the top of a mountain in North Carolina. That's called Mountain Dew. Woo! Bless God, that'll blow the top of your head right off. Come off of there, amen. It's got some power in it. But the one I've got now, that Mountain Dew can't hold nothing to it. Glory to God, I mean to tell you, what I've got now, 
keeps you sane and sober, but yet makes you drunk. It keeps you right and level, but yet makes you intoxicated. Woo! Somebody shout amen. Anytime you want to walk, says June, help yourself. I can't hardly blame you. I can't stand still myself this morning. It just sort of got down in my feet this morning. Whew! Got down in my feet and I felt it up here on the nap of my neck. And I felt my heart getting strangely warm. And I knew for one time on Sunday morning for a while, I got the right channel and got the right message. And the Lord was going to help me preach. Woo! I can't help it, my friend. If you're going to stay on the edge of the crowd, not me. I want to join that number. I said, I want to get in that group. I want to be close as God's holy rollers. I want to be known as God's drunken men, don't you? Come on, Sister Nona. Come up here, I'm going to pray for you this morning. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. up and worship God. Come on. Talk to him about his wonderful works. Praise him. Praise him.
beg you, clean and beg you, hold again. Receive the Holy Ghost. Hear a word from your sin. clean and beg you, hold again. Have you received the power? Receive the power since you believe. Have you received the power? Repent from your sin. Repent from your sin. You must be born again. And if you heed to the power of the Holy Spirit, He will help you pass all temptations. Receive the Holy Ghost. He will help you from your sin. Make you clean and make you whole again. Receive the Have you received the power? Did you believe? Have you received the power? Did you believe? Have you received the power? Did you believe? Receive the Holy Ghost power. Did you believe? You must receive the Holy Ghost. Did you believe? Receive the Holy Ghost. Did you believe? Receive the
Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have you received the power to make the dead rise? Have
first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and give your heart to God. Our watchword is stand up for Jesus. Amen. For our captain of our salvation now and forever. The sole object is to make it home. Our fare is full and free. Our provisions ample. Our food celestial. Our water and wine divine. Our guide is the star of Bethlehem. Our light is the sun of righteousness. Our song the glory to the Lamb. Our voyage is almost complete. Our reckonings tells us that our end is near home. Sweet home is in view. Amen. Our exhortation is, Behold the Lamb of God. And all the Bible says is, Get on board. Everything is taken care of. Pilgrim, get on board. Would you like to go home? There is but one ship of Zion. Would you like to be introduced to the captain? He's willing to take your hand as you come up the gangplank and help you to get on board. Now you want the blessings of the Lord to found. Though the storms may rage high and the waves sometimes batter our soul and the battle with the pirates that would steal our blessing are every day. Yet the old ship of Zion is straight on course. It hasn't varied in thousands of years and we're nearer now than when the first pilgrim stepped on board. If you watch, you can see the lines of the depth being thrown over. It's nearer now than when we first believed. They fathomed the depth. We're nearing a shore. All the signs point. We're going home. We're coming close, Sister Grace. Just a few more days to labor, watch, and wait. Just a few more days to cry over our children. Just a few more days to suffer pain. Just a few more days to put up with the world. And then the ship is going to ring its bells. Land ho! Land ho! And when we see the side of the glorious city, we'll be glad to disembark. Amen. Lay our burdens down and war no more. Till that day we must be faithful and true to our captain. Till that day it's every man to his post. If you don't abide on the ship, you cannot be saved. If you do not abide on the ship, you cannot be saved. You can let and you can jump and you can abandon the ship. But in the midst of the stormy day in which I live, I want to cling to the mast. Amen. Of the old ship of Zion. And watch grace unfurl her power and take me on through. There's rocks you got to watch out for. Amen. But there are a keen eye in the lookout called the Holy Ghost. And as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Put your trust in Him, my friend. He sees further than you see. And the last time He shouted from the crow's nest, He said, I am ready and I am coming. I am ready to come. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you tonight, my friend, there's a lot of enticements to give up. Did you hear me? A lot of enticements to give up. But if you give up now, you're a banding ship that's about ready to make port. A keen eye. You seem like a dot when it come over the horizon. But as time slips away, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And what looked like a dot is now a ship. And the ship is steaming towards a destination that's sure. Don't you want to go? I said, don't you want to go? Amen. Amen. Our destination is sure. But the Bible says, Sir, except these abide in the ship, you cannot be saved. Right.